how can we stay safe? What can we do to stay safe? So with coronavirus, you know, I've come up with an algorithm. It's MODAK, M-O-D-A-K. So let's kind of run through that. M, mask. We all know about masking. O, outdoors. If you can be outdoors, that's much better. Why? Because the wind will take this away. D, distance. We all heard about this back in March, socially distance, right? This virus, a little bit is airborne. Most of it is droplet. So when you talk, when you breathe, that's traveling about six feet and then dropping off. If you can stay at least six feet away, you're going to be much more safe. A, avoid large crowds. So whenever you have a large crowd, people are gonna get closer together. That's just the way it works. There's more likely that someone in that crowd is going to have coronavirus. And of course, the crazy thing about this virus, you don't have to have symptoms to transmit the virus. So people think they're healthy, they get together. The more people you have, the more likely someone is positive and that's going to spread. And finally, K, know the risks of those around you. So it's so important to really know what's happening around you. It's not enough to say, well, I'm gonna mask. It's what is my neighbor doing? And am I getting close to them? And then the general rule of thumb out of the M-O-D-A-K, out of the top three, the M-O-D, mask outdoors distance, if you can do two out of any the three of those at any given time, so you can mask and be outdoors, you can be outdoors and be distanced, then maybe you don't need a mask. If you can do two out of the three, generally you're going to be safe.